hello people today we are going to do a basic fluent uh, simulation in ANSYS fluent so we open the design modeler tab by double clicking on geometry and now we have to import a 3d object into this um, tab now which one should we choose I'm going to choose this windmill that I have designed so you right click on import and then you <laughs> click generate <coughs> and it takes some time always look to the bottom left corner of your screen to check the progress and keep waiting now I uh, designed this uh, windmill which is as you can see it's in the middle and it's a very simplified simplified version of a windmill and it has been placed inside two enclosures the entire windmill has been set up inside a rectangular enclosure and the um, blades of the wind turbine have been enclosed inside a cylindrical cylindrical enclosure okay uh, I will try to suppress the cylindrical enclosure because we don't need it here frankly suppress this body it's okay Tofik you can do your coughing Achha, tarpore. next uh, now that this is done I uh, will uh, move on to the next section which is okay and don't forget to save your files so we're saving it now we'll move on to the next section which is meshing and this software takes a lot of time to load so don't be impatient just look to the bottom left corner of your screen if you see a red traffic signal light you know that work is in progress and don't fidget unnecessarily okay so now we're going to mesh this basically meshing is a fundamental part of any numerical calculation so you may think that why do I need to do this but since we're solving these problems numerically meshing is a must so we'll update the mesh so you just right click on mesh and then you choose generate <coughs> uh, or, or you can choose update okay now that the meshing is done we will choose uh, certain planes and assign certain names to them uh, for our convenience later on so, so this will be our inlet so we create a name selection by right clicking okay so this is the inlet and this is going to be the outlet we select it right by right clicking and then create name selection and we call this outlet and the other walls we want to denote them as a um, you know a wall with uh, specified shear condition we don't want to denote it as no slip boundary condition so just for the sake of that we are going to name it um, SP shear wall I don't like underscore so I'm not going for that okay so now let's check how many name selections we have but don't forget to update every once in a while now that we've created the name selection we have to update so you better update and this is the golden key in this whole process be sure to click it often so that the progress is saved when you move on to the next section okay so now we're done here we'll close it now just press update project once more okay it's a starting fluent so it, now since there's the red signal don't do anything just sit tight okay now we'll resume so the next section is set up here's where here's the place where you actually start you know, uh, you know giving the conditions 
the preconditions to your you know solution so you just assign the problem that you want to solve that's what we do over here now my computer has four uh, cores so four processors so I choose four processors and there's one GPU I choose one and it's always double precision I don't know why we do this but everyone does it so so do I let's move on okay now that you've clicked setup it will give you a window like this make sure you have all these options right here if all these options are not available here that means you've uh, committed some sort of error or done some sort of mistake in the meshing section so this is going to be a uh, steady state uh, problem we don't want transient solutions don't have time to explain why but just uh, you know this we're just getting started with it so just roll along uh, nothing to change here nothing to change here we want to simulate airflow so nothing to change here what we're going to change is this cell zone condition and um, uh, no sorry uh, we're not going to change this either we're going to change the boundary condition so this is the only thing that we will change up to here so far uh, and we're gonna assign to inlet double click on inlet and then just you know apply some moderate velocity I'll go with 25 meters per second we don't want any hurricane conditions so normal wind flow and um, actually 25 meters per second is not that low speed either uh, we don't need to do anything over here in the outlet but what we need to do is uh, uh, yeah specified shear wall double click on this here you see there they've assigned the no slip condition but we don't want that we want the specified shear condition don't need to tamper around with this move on okay next we'll go to the solution methods nothing to change here either you can play around with this but that's for later on we're just getting started so no need to tamper around with these things monitors okay so nothing from dynamic mesh to monitors the next option that we'll touch is solution initialization as a rule of thumb when you are uh, doing a steady state solution use standard initialization instead of hybrid so since we chose steady we're going to choose standard initialization and don't compute from anything don't choose anything here it'll just mess up your calculations I've it's been tested and tried before so just uh, you know click standard and then just click initialize and make sure everything is zero that's 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 for the best moving on to calculation activities if you want to generate a movie file you better auto save every one iteration uh, and then enter and then run calculation you know I typically it, I've seen that it, it converges near around 30 to 35 iterations the numerical solution so I'm just gonna go with 35 and now we're gonna calculate yeah okay so now our calculation is complete we will mo move on to post processing the data as you can see it, like the errors uh, come down and down in the number of iterations I could have gone a couple more but you know who cares let's just move on so 35 iterations as you can see right there okay now let's just go to results don't go to solution skip this step and just go to results and as you can see starting CFD post don't get annoyed don't start fidgeting if it takes a long time just wait for the green light okay so when um, the results section is activated you'll see a window like this and it's kind of hard to navigate around you know to get the right view so just right click here click predefined camera and um, I'll go with view from positive X Okay, I'll go with view from negative x because I want my inlet to be over here. View from negative x. Okay. Now, if you want to see, uh, so the easiest form of visualization would be creating a streamline. So I click this one, and then I'd like to start the flow from the inlet. So I choose the inlet, and then equally, yeah, and I'd like to have a high number of points. I'd like to have a thousand points. And yes, variable is velocity the computer got it right don't need to tamper around with it yeah okay so we'll just generate it I see now you can't make anything out of it but if you rotate it slightly there you go it's pretty soothing now we'll just do away with the streamlines and create 
an animation where the molecules of air or say the particles of air will be visualized by little balls so we click on symbol and then we disable show streams and we apply see they're gone but do not be afraid uh, or the other thing is I'd like to make the windmill visible now it's in wireframe so you can't view it in solid form so I'll just you know, select some uh, features over here to make the windmill appear as a solid body rather than a wireframe structure okay yeah that's good enough okay yeah so now we're going to visualize the flow with little balls click on the streamline thing uh, click on this animation thing uh, animation icon over here and then go to s and then click streamline and then just oh and uh, be sure to deselect repeat forever nobody wants that just puts too much pressure on the GPU so we'll go a little slow and we'll just simulate the flow so see a thousand points and this is how they interact so the windmill just created an obstruction in the flow and the particles on the side are moving faster as you can see on the legend over here the particles on the side are moving faster and in the middle they're moving slower so see they're near the blue end of the spectrum so that's how you do it if you want a better view you can do this you can just right click predefined camera you know if you want a bird's eye view and then we can do the same thing oh you guys will like this I know you guys will I liked it my first time yeah it seems pretty awesome doesn't it now if you simulate with a higher number of points it will look mathemat it will look aesthetically more pleasing and it will be mathematically more accurate as a solution so good luck with that you guys mm, here's how it, uh, here's where I'd like to end it